Let's talk about the A's yeah. and the wild card game tomorrow night. <laughs> this Let's one's so that. big. Wife wanted to talk about bills today. <laughs> uh, Not uh, now. <laughs> no. It's October baseball. Wild card. Let's get right. wild. <laughs> <laughs> hey, been a long time since the A's hosted a playoff game. Six years. And so here we are on the eve of a win or go home one game AL wild card winner take all against Tampa. And you know who's really up for this? Starting pitcher Sean Manaya. Bomo just took me into his office and asked if I wanted the wildcard game. I said, hell yeah. I would have said the same thing. Manaya missed most of the season coming off of Tommy John arm surgery in 2018. He started five games in September, went 4 and 0. Oh. He'll have the crowd on his side. A's opening up Mount Davis. That's the upper, upper deck tomorrow. And they're expecting over 50,000 fans. And after losing last year's wild card game in New York, they are really embracing the home field advantage. I'm really looking forward to, you know, that huge crowd pulling for us instead of the Yankees like it was last year. You know, we've had this game a couple times on the road. That hasn't worked out very well for us. So, you know, we know we're going to play in front of our fans here. It's going to be, you know, a football type crowd. A pound for pound, they're one of the loudest fan bases in, in baseball. And if we pack this place out, it's going to be deafening out there. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to hear it all. I hate to be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> but <laughs> Oakland has lost eight oh. consecutive winner-take-all games. Oh. The last do-or-die win, 1973 World Series Game 7 against the Mets. Come on. History Hasht better not repeat it. Hashtag tomorrow. break the streak. That's yeah. right. Break yeah. the streak. Don't be that right guy, Vern. <laughs> Don't be that guy.